the Edomites have done away with. Well, who are these people ruling? What nation are them? Are these people? There would have to be a scripture on it. <laughs> who the ruling people of today? When you go back into the history, the Babylonians ruled at one time. Uh, the so-called Egyptians ruled at one time. The Assyrians ruled at one time. You had different. Uh, the Greeks ruled at one time, and it's all. Uh, uh, explained in the scriptures, but we don't know who these people are. All we know is they're, they're just white people. They just came out of nowhere. But but them being in power has nothing to do with the Most High. Somehow they kind of got into power. Come on, man. This is why this is why nobody no Israelite takes you seriously, except for them weak-minded ones that leave or get kicked out and run right to you. Like that song that uh. Whitney Houston's song, I want to run to you. Anyway, it says, ye have nothing to do with us. And this, and this hasn't changed. To build a house, a physical house back then, now it's a spiritual house, unto our power, but we ourselves together will build unto the Lord power of Israel as King Cyrus, as King Cyrus, and that word Cyrus is the Hebrew word Karas, which means chosen, the king of Persia, uh, has, has commanded us. Now the Persians are the people of Iran today, which are the Elamites. Then the people of the land weak in the hands of the people of Judah. When it says Judah, it's talking about the kingdom of Judah, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, and troubled them in building. And that's what that's what these Christians are doing right now. They're troubling us in our building, led by vocab, that wicked root, and hired uh, counselors. And now, Elder Yashwamba said he was set up and paid as a paid agent, and he told him to his face. So it says, and what, and hired, what does the word hire mean? It means you're paying somebody to do something. They might not want to do it, but you say, well, mama, we're going to give you a reward for doing this thing. And then they take the reward and they do what they got to do. So we can't prove that vocab meets somewhere and gets a check every week or there's money um, put in his bank account. So we don't know, but we, we do know that he's set up. He, he's uh, and he believes he's been around us enough. He did enough study, and he's a smart man. And he he knows that we're the Israelites. He knows that the Edomites are so-called white people. He knows that the kingdom is is going to be set up for the children of Israel. He knows that we're the Israelites. But you know what? He has to, you know, do what what his hidden masters tell him to do. And hired counselors against them, against them to frustrate their pur purpose. And that's what vocab's job is. To, to and these weak Israelites, man. And like uh, Elder Yashawamba said, he said you can have them. I say that anybody that, that leaves and goes with with uh, vocab, and, you know, you, you can you can have them. You can have them. All right. All the days of uh, Cyrus, king of Persia. Even until the reign of Darius, king of Persia. And in the reign of Asuras, which is uh, uh, Xerxes, Asuras, Asuras, I believe there was more than one, but this one had to be the one in um, the movie 300. The real tall guy that came against the 300, that, that was Asuras, but his name was Xerxes. Um, in, the, in the beginning of his reign, wrote they unto him an accusation against the inhabitants of Judah and Jerusalem. And in the days of uh, after Arthur Xerxes wrote Bish, Bishlim um, uh, Misradath uh, Tabel and the rest of of their company and Artaxerxes, king of Persia, and the writing of the letter was written in the in the Syrian tongue. Now, when you look up the Syrian tongue, that's uh, the 
current Hebrew, like if you get a a Torah is written in, in Syrian um, characters and interpreted in the, in the in the Assyrian tongue. It says here in the, in the heading, the letter to King Artaxerxes. Now, as you read down. Thank you. 